The last time I shared with you guys anything to do with our garden right here at Farm Up, we were just planting, well, for most of the farm. Of course, the passion fruits were already existing. But for most of the vegetables around, none of that had been planted. And now it's probably a month or so later, maybe two months later, and we have a lot of the stuff that has grown. A lot has grown. Actually, even our passion fruit, they call it a garden. Yeah, it's a garden, really. Has matured. When I look around right now, I can barely see any passion fruits. We've been eating most of them. So what happens is that the passion fruits drop early in the morning, well, through the night, and usually in the morning we pick them up, and then we use them to make juice, or you can eat it raw. Right now when I look down, there are not very many. Tomorrow in the morning, you'd find quite a number. But currently, we still, we have very few of them left inside here. I can still see a few of them littering the floor right now and it's quite dark inside here. Most of them are actually done. If you take a look, right here in the background, you can see quite some, some here. For example, there's one here, there are some others here, you know? We have some around, but they're not as many as they were before. So it's quite unfortunate that it looks like, ah, the number of passion fruits is reducing. I don't know how long we're going to keep harvesting them. Hopefully we still have quite some time while we can still enjoy the passion fruits because I really, really do love the passion fruits. And here you can see the few that have dropped. This one just dropped a while back. It hasn't been, I don't think it's even an hour since it dropped. You can see another one here, you know, another one right here, another one right here. So these are very lovely passion fruits. This can be, you know, prepared for juice right now. I'm sure if I broke them, you'd see very yellow and beautiful inside. Uh, it's probably not the cleanest, but I'll try it out. I sliced this open using my teeth. But you can see how beautiful it looks. Yeah? Lovely. Ready for eating. But then, like I've already told you guys, probably in my previous video, we haven't had our best luck this year in terms of rain. The rains came very late. Very, very late and they only stayed for a month, in fact, less than a month, and they were gone. So I'll show you what happened to our sweet potatoes. Look, look what happened at our heaps of potatoes that we had dug, and nothing. Like, they have all withered, just, just take a look. Take a look. This was planted a while back, and because the sun has been too hot and completely no rain, everything has dried, everything. You can see the heaps, you know, from the ground. You can see the hips but everything has drained and that's because we've had no rain and that has resonated throughout most of the garden a lot of the parts haven't been planted as you can see this area here hasn't been planted even that wasn't really planted we have some chili pepper here I'll get closer so you guys can see it you see we have some chili pepper there lovely it has dried up um, it has it's really ready for eating it has dried up but most of the garden hasn't been planted because the rains really disappointed. That area, the bush area, we were supposed to clear and plant with watermelon. But when we saw the pattern of the rain, we were like, no way. This is kale and this actually grew quite well um, until at a particular point that the sun also decided to show it fire. Uh, I'll show you guys. Take a look at this. Look at the leaves. Yeah. The leaves are all destroyed, properly destroyed, properly destroyed, a lot of it. We try to do some mulching, you know, cover the ground with stuff so that it doesn't dry out as badly, but we couldn't avoid the inevitable. So a lot of the leaves have withered because the sun has been so, so much. Here we had tried to plant some onions, but you can look, see what has happened to them look take a look destroyed completely destroyed we haven't gotten out as much as we would expect we thought we'd get a proper yield of onions from here just about the only thing that has managed to give us some form of fruit is the one that i don't enjoy the most that's eggplants you can see these are eggplants and they have tried to put on some fruit not as much as you know they would probably put on in a proper normal season but they have tried to put on some fruit and 
it's not as disappointing. The tomatoes though have been quite disappointing. Oh, of course, again, because of the rain. We've harvested quite an amount of tomatoes, but again, because of the rain, uh, the harvest hasn't been the very best. If I take a proper look around, you'll see that, ah, well, there's still some tomatoes around, but not as much as you'd expect if the rains had been really, really good. And then here we have green pepper. I'm still amazed by green pepper because green pepper puts on its fruits when it's still very short. Look at the fruit over there, you know? But look at how short the plant is. You know, the plants are really short and small, but they put on huge heavy fruits. Take a look at this, you know? Very, very huge green pepper. I'll get it off. This one is ready for me to eat. Very big, but look at the tree. <laughs> on which it's being supported. And then here we can see the maize, which has been really disappointing because the rains have disappeared, guys, the rains have disappeared. And so take a look at the maize, yeah? I really don't expect us to get anything out of it. Uh, luckily enough, the beans had been planted early enough. So this is our plantation, our banana plantation, right here. It goes all through to the end and we had planted beads earlier on so because the beans had been planted earlier they matured they have actually dried and you know they are they have dried and they are ready to be harvested i'll pick up one and you know open it up so you can see the beans on the inside come on open up quite difficult to do with one hand so i've opened it up and you can see the bean there this is a bean being said so this entire garden all the way to the end you know you can just try to walk through it the entire garden is full of beans that are actually ready to be harvested so because the beans had been planted early very early and beans don't take a very long time to grow uh, they reached maturity on time and we were lucky about that this is supposed to be an orange tree orange or lemon no it's a lemon tree unfortunately i think it's very very old so it's not producing or bearing any fruit. No, it's actually a lemon tree because I can see some tiny lemons. But the trees have been around for really long, so I think they need to be destroyed and new ones planted. So I wonder if this is just unpredictability of weather and seasons or global warming is actually becoming this serious. Because last year we had lots of rain and this year we barely had any rain. We are literally losing almost all our crop on the farm because the rains have disappeared and we're supposed to be self-sustainable on this farm. With the maize that we have, we should be able to at least feed the stuff that we have. With the vegetables that we grow, we should be able to feed everyone. I shouldn't be able to go to a shop to buy food, you know? No, I shouldn't. But it looks like things are turning out the other way around. Everything is getting destroyed and the seasons are totally unpredictable. You can't know when to plant and you can't know when to harvest. Most people in my country, Uganda, currently just gamble. <laughs> we never know when to plant and when to harvest. Before, we all knew when to plant, you know. End of Feb, early March, you start planting, you know. Then July, you again start planting for the next season. But here we are and May is ending and there's no rain. <laughs> God! So I'm just thinking, how unpredictable can this get? Um, is global warming going to destroy all our crop? Are you going to have to grow everything in greenhouses? Quite complicated, right? Anyway, I don't even know how to end this video because I'm frustrated. It's quite clear. Very, very frustrated. So I think I just know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and eat my favorite fruit. My favorite fruit being the jackfruit. Jackfruit is the fruit that's found on this tree. This is what jackfruit is. Yep. This is jackfruit. It's my favorite fruit. Thankfully, the jackfruit doesn't need rain or sunshine for it to put on fruit. It will always put on fruit at a particular time of the year. So, thank you jackfruit for not depending on the rain for you to put on fruit. Thanks for watching. Lots of love. Catch you very soon with another video. Bye-bye.